for making a decision tree we'll make use of this ctg data which has 21 features and the response variable is nsp which represents fetal state class code this classification into normal suspect or pathologic state is done by three medical experts and their consensus classification has been labeled as either normal suspect or pathologic So since I have a heading, I'm going to keep this default as yes and simply click on import. So now the data is already imported and the file name also appears here. You can see there are 2126 observations with 22 variables. So I will call this data file as simply data. So once I run this line, I'm assigning a new name to this uh, long name. Now I, I want to look at the structure of the data. So you can see the first variable is an integer variable, second one is numerical variable and so on. Now the last variable is the response which is coded as 1, 2 or 3 depending on whether the classification leads to normal state or suspect or pathologic. R reads this as an integer variable. In reality, it is a factor or a categorical variable. So I need to convert this and let the R know that this is a factor or a categorical variable and not an integer variable. I'm going to create a new variable within this data file and let us call that as NSP and then F for factor. Using this code, I'm changing an integer variable which is uh, given here into a factor or a categorical variable. This will create a new column in the data file and that column will be labeled as NSPF. So as soon as I run that, this changes to 23. So again, if I run this structure, you'll see now you have another variable, NSPF, which is now a factor. So for this, I'm going to use a random seed, one, two, three, four. I'm going to give this a name PD for partition data. So we take a sample of size two, number of row, we specify our data file, and then we say replace equals true. And then we specify the probabilities. So let's say we want the training data to be 80%, so we say 0.8, and validation data remaining 0.2, so 20%. Once we run this line, the data will be partitioned into two sets. Let's call training data as just train. So this is within my data file and we had called this PD, partition data. Two times equal sign will mean that when it is specified as one. So that means all columns. So we run that. So you can see that the training data set has about 1718 observations out of the total similarly we are naming validation data as validate and this is within data pd is two comma no number which means all columns so you can see validate data set has about 408 observations if you have not downloaded party package we need to go to packages install and say party and you'll see it there and install that but once you have installed it you simply need to call that package using library function it will be available for making decision trees let me call my decision tree as tree i'm going to use the function called c tree classification tree our variable is nspf Remember, we created the last variable as a categorical variable. This is just for illustration. We are going to use only first three variables, LB, AC, and FM. So LB plus AC, FM. The data we are using is the train data. So I would say data equals train and run this. So that tree is ready. So if I run 
tree, you will see that there are in fact 19 nodes in this tree. If you want to look at the picture, you can plot it. So this tree is generally upside down. You have the root at the top and the leaves are at the bottom. And the most important variable to the prediction model is basically at the top. Out of the three variables uh, we have used, AC is the most uh, important variable in helping to classify the observations into one, two, and three, which is a normal, suspect, and pathologic. So if AC is less than or equal to 0 0.001, you go on the left side, otherwise you go on the right side. Similarly, if LB is less than 136, you go on the left side and if it is more than 136, you go on the right side. Now, if you are at node 3, if FM is less than or equal to 0.11, you reach the terminal node. So, this is the decision node where you can look at the probabilities. Probability that response variable equals 1, which is that the patient is normal, is between 60% and 80%, so about 70% chance. A patient is more likely to be normal when you are at this stage. Similarly, you can uh, interpret uh, any other branch like if AC is less than or equal to 0 0.001 and LB is less than or equal to 136 and FM is greater than 0 0.112, then you come here and you see that response level 3 has the highest probability. So almost close to probability of 1. It is more likely with those readings that this patient is likely to be pathologic. Sometimes we need to prune the tree, make it smaller by controlling some parameters. So to do that, we can add some controls to this line. Minimum criteria equals, let's say, 0 0.9. So this is the confidence level. 90% confidence that the variable is significant. If we say minimum split is 200, which means a branch will split into two only when the sample size is at least 200, that is going to restrict growth of the tree. So I'm going to change the minimum criteria to let's say 99, minimum split to 500, and let's see what happens to the tree. So we are assuming that the tree is going to be smaller and less complicated because we just have three variables and for just three variables the tree looks very big. So we are pruning the tree. So now we have only nine nodes and if you plot this you will notice that the tree is more compact. So let's say there is a new patient who has an AC reading of less than 0 0.001. Let's say it is 0.0005. So because it is less than 0 0.001, we go on the left side. Then suppose LB for that patient is 20. So 20 is less than or equal to 136. So we come to this terminal node and we notice that the response for 1, which is like normal, is about 70%. The probability is 0 0.7 that the patient is more likely to be normal. So this way, once a tree is built, we can make use of this for predicting a new patient. Suppose another new patient comes in and we find that the AC is actually more than 0 0.001 and AC is also more than 0 0.002 and LB is more than 110. So we reach this node and once again, the patient is likely to be normal with the much higher probability compared to the earlier one. So this is how we can make use of the tree. Let's see how we can predict something in our validation data set based on the tree. So to predict, we use predict function. We are going to use our model tree and the data set that we'll use is the second one, validate. And we want to figure out what are the probabilities. So I would say type equals probability. So remember in our validate data set, we have 408 observations. So I run this and you can see that for all 408, you get three numbers. So first one is the probability that the patient will be normal. This is the probability that the patient will be suspect. 
and this is the probability that the patient is pathologic. So the probability that the patient will be pathologic is smaller here. Patient number 400, you can see that the probability that the patient is normal is quite high, 0.98. So this is the prediction for that patient. If you do not use this part here, probability, if you just remove this and do the prediction using this model for the validate data, and run this what you will see is for all these 408 patients in the validate data set the model gives a prediction whether they belong to class 1 2 or 3 so first patient in the validate data is predicted to be belonging to 1 which means likely to be a normal patient you have 33 values 1 or 2s here and then the 34th value which is in the second row so 34th patient is also likely to be one which means normal 67th patient is predicted to belong to class 2 which is suspect category and so on so now i will create a tree and call that is tree 1 because i already have a tree so I'm just putting one to differentiate between the two. R A I N. And then to plot this, I'm going to use another library called R part dot plot. So I have already downloaded this. So we'll simply run this R part dot plot tree one. So you'll notice that this structure is slightly different compared to the earlier one so if ac is greater than this value so this is a very small value it has like 839 times 10 to the power of negative 6 so point and then five zeros and then 839 so if it is more than that if it is yes that means that patient is more likely to be a normal patient but if this is answered as no then you go to lb and if lb is less than 136 and FM is less than 0.2, then again the patient is likely to be normal. But if you go on the other side and suppose you reach this terminal node, then that patient is more likely to be pathologic. So if you want some extra information, for example, if you say extra equals 1, you also get the sample sizes. At this node, the prediction is that the patient is normal because this is 1. And in the data set, 934 patients were normal, 33 were suspect, and 21 were pathologic. If you put 2 here, you see slightly different information. So, for example, for category 1, 934 patients out of 988 in the training data set belong to this group. They were normal. If you put 4 here and run this, so in the tree, you get the probabilities. So the probability that a patient at this stage is normal is 0.95. So there's a 95% chance that the patient is normal, 3% chance that the patient is suspect, and 2% chance that the patient can be categorized as pathologic. So same function predict. So our tree model is tree one this time and our data is in validate data set so now you get probability for all those 408 patients in the validate data set so first four patients one two three and four they had belonged to training data similarly after five you see 14th patient so in between patients are in the training data set so this tree was made using those data points that you don't see here like 1 to 4 is missing and then after 5, 6 to 13 is missing, 15 is missing, patient from 17 to 25 is missing and so on. We will use the tree model to calculate misclassification error for train data. So what we are doing here is we are creating a table using table function. We are predicting the outcome using tree model and then we are also using this data from the training data set. So if I run this, 
and run the next line and get the table this is the table you get so what it means is there are 1222 patients which are actually normal so one means normal two means suspect and three means pathologic so this one two and three indicate the reality so this is the actual classification this one two and three indicate the prediction from the tree model 1222 means there were 1222 patients that were actually normal and also the model predicted them to be normal there were 70 patients who were actually suspect so that's the second category but the model predicted them to be normal so this is a misclassification so these 70 patients should have been classified as two but the model says they are normal so this is misclassification similarly 112 patients who were actually pathologic were predicted to be normal by this model so obviously this is not optimized model we are just looking at a table and trying to understand what it is telling us the numbers in the diagonal they indicate correct classification and the numbers that are off diagonal that indicates misclassification if you want to find misclassification error what you do is you simply take the total of off diagonal elements and divide them by total number of observations so if you do that and run this line you get 0.197 so that means the misclassification error is about 19.7% based on the training data. So we are going to make a prediction using the validate data and we'll save this in test PRED. So if I run this and then apply this table and print the table, this is how it looks. In the validate data set, remember you have 408 observations. So out of 408 patients, 274 patients were actually normal and also predicted to be normal. 21 patients were actually suspect, but they were predicted to be normal. So this is a misclassification. Similarly, 28 were pathologic and they were predicted to be normal. So this is also off diagonal data which is a misclassification so if you calculate misclassification error for the validate data it is about 0.21 so one thing you'll notice is that the model has not at all predicted anything for the third category when we develop the model we just use the first three and i mentioned that this is only for illustration but actually the process uh, when you try to develop a model the process you follow is to include all the variables and then develop your model based on statistically significant variables and then when you assess the misclassification errors and look at the validate data and then make sure that misclassification errors are small